Do you feel that AI migration into clients' businesses is going to, over time, decrease or increase their need for HCL services? I think it would increase, and I'll tell you why. Because um, to reap the best benefits of generative AI, I think any, and we work across all industries, um, they have to have a very good data infrastructure and a very good uh, data strategy. And a lot of them have committed cloud spends. Um, and of course, uh, top of everybody's mind um, in every geography is cybersecurity. So I think that when you put uh, the need for applications which have to be built around their universe of generative AI use, I think the use cases will only go up. I'm really glad that you raised the issue of cybersecurity because you were hit by a ransomware attack a few weeks ago and I understand it was contained. However, it really raised some questions about how vulnerable the whole sector is, the IT services sector in India is, to such attacks. What do you think? So I think um, it was an isolated um, you know, incident for us. I think we managed it extremely well. And we're out of most of it. And uh, there was no data breach. So I think, uh, you know, I think organizations all over the world, I don't think just India and IT services, are um, much more vulnerable to, um, you know, cyber threat. And um, so I think we're all having to put in place uh, the real safeguards. But some of these threats often, they work faster than the safeguards that one puts right. in because how to stay one how step to, ahead. How to stay one step ahead. And um, so I think uh, these are, there's much to learn from this. Mm. Is another Let's way talk about it. one of your key growth indicators, and that is, of course, headcount. We always watch what happens with mm. headcount. And you were, for a number of quarters last, last year, reducing your headcount. What's the outlook for your labor needs this year? So actually, we're the only uh, company in our peer set which has increased headcount. So as of last quarter, we were a couple of thousand people up. And to meet our uh, guidance, which we've provided to the market between 5 to 5.5%, we will continue to keep hiring um, to you know, meet that growth. And we think that there is robust demand there to be able to do that.